Okay, well, I'm in my 50s, believe it or not. Although you probably thought I was in my 60s. I've worked in engineering for most of my life. I've been probably playing the organ for nearly 40 years. That's a long time. Yeah, I started off very young. I uh, learned the piano for, for just a couple of years when I was about, I think, eight or nine or something like that. Not long after that, my dad bought a little electronic organ uh, at, at home and uh, I started to sit down and learn it. My piano teacher, I think, gave up in disgust and uh, I then basically uh, taught myself to play. When I was in my early 20s, um, I saw someone selling uh, a reed organ of two keyboards and a full pedal board which uh, you could play with your feet and it had its own blower to pump the bellows and I thought wow that's great I'd love to have something like that. This particular instrument was totally mechanical I thought fantastic I can I can hook other things up to this instrument. The organ that I have built over probably about 20 23 or something years um, has just evolved um, such to the extent now that with the virtual organ, with the computer organ, I'm playing up to nine different instruments and all of this is just built into one huge Fred Flintstone like held together with wire and paddle pop sticks type of instrument. But it all has worked and it all continues to work and it's a lot of fun. The other organ which I regularly play is the organ at St Thomas's Anglican Church, North Sydney. I've been involved there with music for over a 10 year period, both as music director in the contemporary meetings at the piano or keyboard, as well as the main meeting on Sunday morning, in which we do have a small band, uh, as well as a little mini orchestra, if you like. Uh, we use the organ also at this service. St Thomas's North Sydney has got a three manual 57 speaking stop instrument and gets regularly played for the many weddings that we have as well as services every Sunday. I'm also one of the pastors or ministers at St Thomas's. My passion is to make the organ as interesting as possible to as many people as possible so they can see, oh, okay, it's, it's hopefully not a boring instrument and can be a lot of fun, which I think it is. It is, in, in fact, the king of instruments.